Okay, so now we're going to practice a few things that we've looked at throughout all the previous videos. Something that's quite easy to do now, but if you'd never seen all the previous videos before this one, it would have been incredibly complicated. So we're going to create trigger prototypes and trigger within a range. I'm going to use the OS Linux active template. Okay, so in my setup, I don't have any hosts using the OS Linux active template at the moment. I'm going to configure the Raspberry Pi to use it. The Raspberry Pi is behind a proxy, so this will add an extra complication. So configuration. Okay, my Raspberry Pi, Linux by Zabbix agent. That's the template with all the passive checks. So I'm going to unlink and clear. I'm going to add the new one. Active and see what we get. Linux by Zabbix agent active. There we go. That's good. Now update. Okay, configuration hosts, Raspberry Pi, Linux by Zabbix agent active, and Zabbix proxy health. So it has two templates assigned. Okay, excellent. Now, remember my Raspberry Pi agent is behind the proxy. So if we look at that again, you can see the agent, that's this section here, is monitored by the Raspberry Pi, which is set down here in administration proxies. So I should do a config cache reload on the Raspberry Pi. Okay, so I'm on the Raspberry Pi, config cache reload. Excellent. Okay, monitoring maps my raspberry pi agent is now using the active version of the template okay so let's look at that template so configuration templates i'll filter by active linux by zabbix agent active there so we're going down here to discovery prototype will be a file system prototype so again mounted file system discovery item prototypes and we can see that the types of all these items are active versus in the previous video, they're all the passive versions. Anyway, the property I want to monitor is percent free, but on VFS FS size. So we've got percent used, total and used. And I could just use the percent used option here, but just for the practice, I'm going to create one for percent free. So I'm just going to go into this one and clone it. So clone, I'm going to call it percent free. Percent free. And it's going to use the mode of p3 just a reminder of what all the modes are on this sabix agent page here if i just look for vfs.fs.size there we go mode possible values total free used p3 which is a percentage float for percentage so here type of information numeric float which is good and units i'm going to keep it the percent sign update interval one minute everything else is good see here in the description it is also using the macro as part of the description so you can also do that okay create enabled and discover add okay so we have a new one here called present free now my agent on the raspberry pi doesn't yet know about this new item and the item is also active so we need to do two things if we want the change to happen as soon as possible and that is reload the cache on the proxy and also to restart the Zabbix agent because the Zabbix agent probably at this point in time hasn't yet got its own cache of active items from the proxy so agent restart status excellent if you remember with zabbix agents when they first start up they query their server or their proxy for a list of any active checks that they must do so now we can assume that the agent running on the raspberry pi knows about this new item we can actually check that so monitoring later starter it's filtered by the raspberry pi percent free that's the new one i just created hasn't got any data yet but we're a little bit more patient Pi. okay so raspberry pi Let's click that again. Still not. Still not. I'm just going to filter the host here. Okay, now just apply. Okay, so it's taken a little while. If I go into configuration hosts, Raspberry Pi, discovery, because they're all active, I can't really execute now. See, wrong discovery rule type. I just have to be a bit patient. Later starter. Raspberry Pi, apply. Okay, I'll just do those updates on the Raspberry Pi again. Perhaps I was a little bit too quick. Config cache reload. Agent restart. Status. It's all good. Okay, percent free, it's now showing something 97%. Okay, so that's there now. So we can see the graph of that. Last five minutes. And we have almost 100% free on that folder there. Slash right at the top. 97%. That's my Raspberry Pi. Anyway, so now we have that working. Let's create some trigger prototypes. Configuration, templates, active, Linux by Zabbix agent active. These are discovery rules. 
amount of file system discovery, trigger prototypes. Okay, so we have several trigger prototypes there. Let's create our own to work out when there's 10% free. Okay, so I'm going to call that free space less than 10%. Going to make it a disaster. Now, the expression. Okay, because this is a trigger prototype and we're using an item prototype, we select prototype. Okay, FS name percent free. That's the one we just created. Okay, I want to know when the result is less than 10 or actually less than and equal to 10. Insert. Okay, so that expression is perfect. You can see it's using the Linux by Zabbix agent active template, VFS, FS size, and it's using a discovery rule macro, percent free. So these will be created dynamically when the discovery rule is run on the agent. Okay, everything else is good. Okay, so I have one there, free space less than 10%. I'm going to create another one, which is between 10% and 20%. Okay, so I'm going to click that and just clone it. So free space between 10 and 20%. And I'm going to make that a high. I don't really want an alert for that. It's just good to get the warning. So I could actually use warning, but I'm just going to say it's a high. It's up to you how you classify the severity. Okay. So this condition is slightly more complicated. I could use the expression constructor here, or I could just write it manually. So I'm just going to close the expression constructor. I'm going to get that. I'm going to copy that. I'm going to write and that like that. Now the first condition, percent free, it's going to be greater than 10 and percent free is less than or equal to 20. Okay, so when you're writing it that way, you may create syntax errors, but you can always go back into the expression constructor. And I can see down here that it was able to interpret my expressions without a problem. So I can actually just test that. So my item here, the last of sent free, let's see what happens if that equals nine. Let's test that. Okay, so greater than 10, false, less than 20, true, but A and B, false. Let's try 11.567, test. Okay, so A is true, it's greater than 10, and B is true, it's less than or equal to 20, so A and B equals true. So that would produce the high severity in my monitoring problems here. Okay, so that's perfect. Okay, add that. All right, so I've got two now, disaster and high. Now, also, since triggers are executed on the server and we've already verified that we're getting that new item data on the server because we looked at it before in monitoring latest data, we don't need to reload the config cache in the proxy or reload the Zabbix agent because it doesn't matter because the triggers will be tested on the Zabbix server. And now, also, I'm not actually going to get any alerts because we looked at the latest data again for my Raspberry Pi and we can see that it's 97% so I'm actually never going to get the disaster or even the high severity showing up here in problems but let's just say I wanted to get an email when it went into high severity I could go down to administration users my user media and edit the email type for example and say I also want to get emails when it's in high severity so update that then update that double check it media high now if you were to do that you're going to get a lot more alerts in your emails and you might not want that so anyway we'll talk about another way of managing how many alerts you get in the next video anyway so in this video we're creating trigger prototypes and triggering within a range and that should hopefully have made a lot of sense at this point in the course and if you've never done the videos before this one that would have been extremely complicated so excellent